So Lo jumped in the conversation, said 50 might give Future a problem. And uh, things went off the rails. I mean, a lot of people were engaged, but you guys were also going back and forth a lot about uh, 50 versus Wayne specifically. Look, man, someone here is not to, here to defend themselves. Ebro. But we just, we just going to call a spade to spade. Right. So Ebro gets in the chat. And he, his, his quote, 50 with Wash Wayne. Ebro said it. Now, Ebro's going to have to defend himself. I seen that, and I was like, what? In what world? Okay, and, and, and let, me, let me not knock Curtis Jackson for a minute. Shout out to Curtis. Shout out to everything you're doing over there in the Stars Gangster okay, Extended the Universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's like, get, get to, to the shit. I mean, Ebro, yeah. mind you, is on vacation. We know this man works hard. He actually took some time off, but he took time out of his vacation to argue with y'all. It was like three against one. Because one of our producers was also in the chat, but he was like deeply passionate about this, that Wayne just wouldn't stand a chance. I'm not even here to say 50 could beat Lil Wayne, but to say that 50 would wash Lil Wayne in no dimension, in no world, in no, in no, just no, no, that would not happen. And here's what I will say about 50 Cent. 50 Cent, his, his high, his hot, right? is probably hotter than anyone I saw in hip hop history, bro. When In The Club dropped and, and, and Give Rich or Die Trying came out, it was like, I, to this day, I've never seen someone come out as hot as 50 Cent came. 50 Cent's hot, though, was for like a pretty short time. And 50 Cent burnt a lot of bridges. He wasn't on a lot of features. It was all G-Unit. It was all in-house for the most part. There were people he did. Wayne has been around since 1998, basically, he just performed at the Grammys on a song we had a whole discussion about when that dropped. You know what I'm saying? He performed that. Wayne features alone, bro. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. So the topic of Lil Wayne versus 50 Cent and the versus battles come up. And, you know, Hot 97 Zebro basically said that 50 Cent would watch Lil Wayne. I don't know how, where you can come up with that one from. Like, off the top of the dome, 50 got, like, three hits that Wayne probably can't fuck with. Like, you got Wangsta, Many Men, and uh, in the club. Like, I don't see too many, you know, joints from Lil Wayne that's going to beat them three. But, you know, he'd probably have to bring up some of the G-Unit and, you know, some of the mixtape material. But to say that 50 would watch Lil Wayne, no. He's not beating Lil Wayne, let alone watching. And on top of that, this is where I think ageism comes in at, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ebro, I think he's like, I'm just guessing, maybe in his mid, late 40s. So the nostalgia of 50 Cent versus the nostalgia of Lil Wayne's kind of kicking in. And you know, for me, when Get Rich or Die Trying first came out, he was on fire, couldn't nothing stop that. But let's not forget about the run that Lil Wayne had neither when he was on every feature, every mixtape, etc. So, obviously, in my opinion, it's not even an opinion, it's a fact. <laughs> Lil Wayne would definitely beat 50 Cent in the verses, let's be clear. But, you know, I, I would love to see, well, nah, I'm lying. No, I don't. I was about to say, I would love to see, you know, Ebro's opinion why he said that 50 would wash Wayne, but I'm lying. I don't even want to know. I, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I like both, you know. So, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, let me know in the comments, you know, if you agree, disagree, whatever. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.